What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy, everybody's buddy, PewDiePie. No, it's Car Craftsman back with another video. And today, <laughs> I'm actually uh, going to be doing a, uh, a project that I always wanted to do. Uh, and I've been looking at a lot of Iwata art design or Rona art design. Look, you got to know these guys. They are unbelievable. They have had some breakthroughs in uh, customizing and painting that are just unreal. Uh, they engrave uh, filler on cars. They do chrome paint jobs. And one of the things that they do quite a bit of is this turnstile metal type art here. Um, this is just a tank that uh, I pretty much just picked up uh, out of the dumpster really and uh, I've made a, a nice little uh, design on there there you go there you can see it a lot better on there and up top there are two different designs and what's gonna happen and what these people do is they take this uh, etching that you've put into the metal and they put a candy over top of it and it allows the metal to shimmer underneath of the candy and it's it's an unreal look and that's what I hope to achieve here um, now one of the things that I don't know if they do is I don't know if they clear coat seal the metal first or if they just put a candy right over top of the metal but uh, this is definitely something uh, that I'm going to experiment with. I am going to clear coat this tank. And while I'm doing this experiment, I'm going to do another. You can see that the front of it had a little bit of damage here. Uh, so, yeah, I just address that real quick and uh, put some filler on it. Uh, this thing really isn't that important to me. It is going to be a little bit of a showpiece, but it's really just is what it is. I'm going to have fun doing this project, make this video, and uh, relay this information. But uh, So I'm going to sand this obviously down, and what I'm going to do is seal the metal and the, uh, and, and the uh, body filler under the clear coat. And what I'm actually gonna do is then sand the clear coat and see if the clear coat doesn't act like a primer. Uh, obviously clear coat is thick, it goes on thick. It doesn't really have fill capabilities, but it certainly uh, can be sanded and feathered out. And even if you have some scratches in the paint, you could feather them down. Uh, to a point where you don't really see them. So that's what I plan to do. I'm going to hit this thing with probably 220 here, uh, get the body filler level, and then I'm going to coat this whole thing in uh, clear coat, sand this back down again real smooth, sand everything down real smooth, and then put a candy on top of that. We're going to see how this shimmer turns out. Guys, I'm always doing work like this. I'm always trying to be crafty in the craft cave. So if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Like this video if you learn anything or if you think it's a cool concept because I need that stuff. Dramatic smoky effect. <laughs> uh, yeah, so okay. It's looking better after the second coat there. It's not perfect in here. Um, so what I mean by using the clear coat as the primer. Now obviously there's ridges in all of this and that's what gives it its shimmer. The light hits it in different directions and it just shines all kinds of crazy. So I plan on clear coating this and actually painting part of it and exposing some of the uh, shimmering metal uh, yeah, so you get what I'm saying. Uh, like I said, that pattern is just a little bit different, and we're going to see what it looks like under some candy and with some paint. I'll just show you guys real quick how I got that pattern there. This is just a roll lock disc, I think they call it, just a bristle brush. It really doesn't harm the metal too much. I think they use it for taking off gaskets more than anything. But for the side here, I just went...
Basically how I came up with that. Put some clear coat on it. I got everything smoothed out on here. My uh, filler area is looking good. Uh, my metal areas are looking clean. I went ahead and gave the bottom of this thing a bath in some silver. And now I'm about to just lay the clear coat on it. So the filler definitely soaked in a lot of clear coat and I can tell it would need a couple more uh, coats to really cover it. So we're going to see how much I got left in my gun here. guys I think we are looking kind of awesome right now look at those results just clearing over the metal and uh, there's a nice slick surface I mean there's there's plenty of texture in that I know you can't pick that up on the camera but uh, it soaked into that metal and it, it left a very nice surface uh, I'm gonna actually sand this with 600 and I'm gonna do some taping on it but uh, it turned out really good. And as for our uh, our filler spot, it, it looks good too. Uh, it feels level and uh, it's going to sand out. I, I know it is. And then we're going to build on top of that with uh, some more paint. So here we go. Here we, all are, uh, <clears throat> here we are looking all matte. We've sanded it with 600. 
I keep saying we. I'm bringing you along. I, I think you're here with me, I guess. So we sanded it with 600, and man, that is, uh, that's feeling pretty smooth. So what I'm going to do now is uh, it really felt like it worked. Um, it felt it looked like it soaked in the first couple of coats, but then uh, there's there's either three or four coats on here. I can't remember, but I can guarantee I sanded off two, and there's just a thin layer of clear on there now. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of striping and then add a little bit of color and then uh, yeah, keep going. Okay, so I'm going to do a layered paint job on this thing, and what I'm thinking is the first step I should probably do is the candy here. Uh, that's the only thing I could figure out, because I do want to put some silvers on top of it, and I think I'd have to do way too much taping and backtracking in order to really make this happen. Uh, this is the candy, quote-unquote, that I'm working with, mid-coat, clean maroon there. Uh, this is made for uh, Ruby Red Ford, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to dress this thing up and uh, shoot it with the clear coat or uh, the candy coat here. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Wow, guys, do I like what I'm seeing. This is going to look amazing out in the sun. And it looks pretty cool now. And here's our primer spot. Well, our clear coat primer spot. I mean, as you can see, those beams of light, I didn't get the body work completely flat, but... That's where the filler was, and that's looking pretty smooth right there. So, yeah, that's obviously one of the spots I'm going to want to cover up with paint. Uh, I plan on doing the typical uh, teardrop shape, I guess, on the side, and then I'm going to do something with the top there and then fill in the rest with paint. But, uh, yeah, for this video, it's pretty much, yeah, mission accomplished. I think... Uh, if you ever have to do a project like this or run across something that uh, you have to use this procedure with in order to get something to match right or I don't even know what you would have to use it for. But uh, yeah, came out great. It's looking pretty awesome. So that's, a get. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. And I really appreciate you staying to the end. Car Craftsman out.